Okay, we're going to add bots to UDK. First, I have a floor here, and I have a directional light that I've added. Um, let's right-click here on the floor, Add Actor, Add Path Node, and I'm going to move this just up to make sure it's not colliding with the floor. Let's click Kismet, right-click, New Action, Actor, Actor Factory, and we'll change some of these properties in just a second right click here new event and level loaded and connect loaded invisible to spawn actor this just means when the level begins our actor will be spawned now let's click on actor factory next to factory we want to press this blue arrow and select UT actor factory check force deathmatch AI Pawn class, you have to set it to UT Pawn, not UDK Pawn, but UT Pawn. I'll give him default inventory, although you have some options here to start him with different guns. And I'm going to, next to spawn point, I'm going to press this arrow which is going to automatically load the spawn point that I have selected, which is the one we just created. And that's it. X, I'm going to build all, close, right click, play from here. Ah, this is a very important lesson to learn. Sometime when you, sometimes when you change those Kismet settings, it's going to, by default, reset your view options in the newer versions. You want to select view, world properties, game type. Default game type is set to none. You want to set that to UT game. Now when we close this and play from here, it'll react like it normally would. Okay. This guy's not really doing very much. He's looking at his shoes. If I shoot him, he'll start shooting me. But the key to making this work is to add more than one bot. So let's go back to Kismet. Click Actor Factory. Oh, before we do that, let's add some more spawn points. Let's add Actor Path Node. And remember, Enemies will automatically walk toward path nodes too, so you can set the game up, set your path nodes up in a path that you'd like for them to follow if you wish. Let's go ahead and add another one. Add actor, path node. Okay. Move this one up just to make sure it's not colliding with the ground. Okay, when we click Actor Factory and scroll down to Spawn Points, we can click the plus to add a new item. And this one that says None, click this arrow, and whichever path node we have selected will automatically be loaded. It's that one. You can see it says Path Node here, too. Now I'm going to select this other one that we created before, Path Node underscore 1, Spawn Points, Add New Item, click this arrow, which will load the one that is selected, the path node that's selected. X this out, let's build all, close, right click, play from here. Hey, there's only one guy running around. He is running to the paths. The problem is we need to open Kismet, select Actor Factory, and we forgot to change the spawn count. It'll only spawn one if it says one from all the different spawn points you set. So let's set it to three. X, right click, play from here. One, two, three. There they are, and they're trying to kill each other. They don't see me yet. And that guy, oh, now he's trying to kill me now that he's taken out the other guys. So it spawned three at those different locations. Okay, and one last thing. Let's say that we wanted to spawn more than three when we loaded the level. Let's click Actor Factory. Spawn count 99, whatever you want it to be. Spawn delay. Let's set it to about one second. 
because if a bot tries to spawn on top of another bot, you'll get an error. Um, so, and that's just something you'll have to play with to get it right. X this out, right click, play from here. One, okay, every second a new one's appearing. And you can see the errors that are popping up because they're unable to spawn on top of each other. So, you know, those are numbers you can definitely tweak. But uh, you can see there's some pretty cool chaos going on. And that's it. Thanks.